one of the most crucial parts obviously to our trailer and which everybody's always talking about is solar panels what should i get what connectors oh uh, we went with the red arc when these came out in october or september of last year at overland expo west brand new to the market it's a 200 watt to suitcase type panel comes in a beautiful padded case as you can see right there and to me these are the best panels on the market i know a lot of people have renergy um zamp uh canadian solar there's a few others out there you got um, the blue eddies jackery and they're all good they're all decent panels but if you want the best when it comes to durability this thing can withstand a hurricane this thing is you could throw rocks at this thing this thing is not going to break very very durable it folds up it's not the lightest but it's not the heaviest but you will definitely know you don't have to worry about these ever breaking it has a very sturdy metal stands as you can see here this ain't going nowhere and it's in connector now these are unregulated so you can hook them up to anything and then you come over here i got a 16 foot cord and what i did do is i invested in this little thing I'm not sure if you can see it in the sunlight now the batteries are fully charged i just plugged it in for demonstration purposes here but this is the kick-ass power analyzer and this thing is so neat it tells you exactly how many amps are going in your volts the status of your charging and then of course it comes right over here to your connector and i can't even remember it's been about nine months but i reversed the leads in here and these are anderson connectors so you can just pop out the lead and reverse them and was able to go into a straight SAE connector right here. I know a lot of people are having to get the reversal connector. If you're going to use the ZAMP, I didn't have to do that. And then to control everything, is our BCDC controller. A lot of people put these here, up here. That's my uh, porta potty. I decided to go there because it's out of the way for now. Um, haven't really felt the need to go a full Red Vision system. I mean, we only have a few things on here. And just, to me, it doesn't make sense to spend two, three thousand dollars on a Red Vision Manager 30 system when you're only just controlling your lights and a few other accessories. But this thing works great. And what's nice about this, as you can see the three lights, it tells you the stage Right now it's flashing because it's pretty much full. It tells you it's on solar. And that's the type of charging profile A because these are lead acid type batteries. I do plan to go to lithium eventually. I've had these 10 months, I've had no problems. They work great. I've gone three, four days when have never had to worry about discharging the batteries because of my setup. I'm sure I can go weeks at a time, but for peace of mind down the road, I am gonna go with solar. So I just wanted to show everybody our setup and how that works. And then the final piece to the puzzle is I also have a BCDC controller for dual battery system on the, on the inside of the truck. But the start battery goes through an SBI, um, kind of like a disconnect. And then I ran the wires all the way through this is a 175 amp Anderson connector. I went a little bit overboard, but I also wanted to make sure for any future use, if I decide to go with a higher BC, BC DC controller, I've got enough, uh, I got two gauge cable here. Very thick, robust. And what's nice about this is when you're on long trips, my batteries are fully topped off at all times. I'm putting in, it goes from the start battery to the disconnect back to the BC DC controller and I'm putting in 25 amps constantly into the batteries. So when we get to camp after eight, nine hour drive, I don't have to worry about the batteries. We're good to go. On our last trip, we didn't have much sun. So, and then I also forgot my solar panels. So I would run the truck. I think it was after three days, I ran the truck for like 30 minutes. So much easier because I can run the truck through this connector and charge the batteries. It's literally the best way to go. So I just wanted to show everybody 
what our setup is and give you a little bit of an idea that you can do the same thing. I highly recommend every off-grid owner to at least do something like this. I don't see how you can do trips without a BCDC controller personally. I mean, yeah, you can have the lithium and not worry about it, but why would you run that risk of not charging your batteries properly? All right, okay, just wanted to show that.